Relationships are hard to begin with. And when you throw in some cultural differences, a pinch of infidelity, and a splash of jealousy, you've got a recipe for disaster. On today's case, Ms. Kennedy says that her international boyfriend is a controlling cheater who needs to understand that she is an independent woman with a mind of her own. Mr. MBA says Ms. Kennedy is just a rude American whose attitude would never be tolerated in his country, and she owes him an apology for the disrespect she's shown him over the course of their relationship. Can this couple negotiate a peace? Or is it time for them to close their borders? Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Kennedy versus MBA. Thank you. Ms. Kennedy, Mr. MBA. Ms. Kennedy, you're here in court today because you say you are ready to throw up your hands and forget about your relationship. You say you love Mr. MBA, but your cultural differences and his infidelity have stopped the two of you from moving on. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. MBA, you say that while you love Ms. Kennedy, you cannot be with a woman who does not respect you as a man. You say there's no way you can continue this relationship unless Ms. Kennedy apologizes for her outrageous outbursts and changes her attitude. Yes, Your Honor. So, the two of you have been in a relationship for two plus years, and you've lived together for two of those years. But you met in college while you were getting your business degree. So, I'm talking to tremendously educated two people who kind of know what they want professionally. I'm wondering if that translates into your personal lives. So, Ms. Kennedy, you brought the case. Tell me a little bit about how you met and then how we got here. We met in college. Uh, <laughs> I love, like, sports, and he loves sports, and um, I would always see him. Uh, I was in a relationship during that time, but it was on his way out, too. So we were really starting to kick it and really enjoy each other. And I would always be like, hey, Baba, which is an African word, which is like, hey, Daddy. But we enjoyed each other, mm -hmm. and we was like, yeah, let's go ahead and make it a relationship. So everything was great in the beginning, mm -hmm. um, but it, it started to shift. It, it really did. Uh, within the relationship, we moved in together. You know, certain things that a woman does, I'm, I'm okay with. I grew up in the country, so I know how to treat a man to a certain extent. So when he would say, hey, babe, can you, you know, wash my clothes or can you iron my shirt for work? I'm like, sure. You because know, that's... You want to please your man. Courteous. Thank you. You want to please your man. But it's not something that I'm mandatory to do. I don't have to do it if I don't want to. <sighs> So that opened oh. up a can of worms, y'all. So let me Excuse talk about these can of worms because Mr. MBA, uh, Ms. Kennedy says, listen, she was excited when you all got together and she didn't have any problem taking on some of the traditional roles because she looked forward to doing that. What do you say? When you say traditional roles, what mm -hmm. I oblige from her to mm -hmm. do is not traditional, but things that every human being that is responsible, be it a man or a woman, uh, would do such things. So you're not saying this is a man's role or a woman's role. It's a partner's role. If you're right. in a relationship, this is the kind of things you just do for your partner. Yes, y'all know. So I want to be very clear on what we're talking about. I see that um, you all had so much in common. Um, what, what has Mr. MBA said to you, Ms. Kennedy, that makes you think that he has an expectation that's beyond what he has described. Yes, it is traditional. Like, he says to this point where, okay, you gonna fix us something to eat tonight? Like, I mean, I don't mind, but sometimes I don't feel like cooking when I get off of work or I've been studying. You know, like, you can cook also. If we not having traditional men and woman roles, what's wrong with him going over to the stove and, and, and getting some water and boiling it? You, you know what I'm saying? And then we go to the friends, Your Honor. Okay. I get home from work one night. I'm tired. We just had a long caseload, right? So I get home from work. There are 10 cars in my driveway, Your Honor, Oops. and I can't even get in to my house. I have to call him and tell him, can you tell some of your friends to move that car so I can get into the house that I'm paying for? And then that's me being disrespectful? That's me being disrespectful. Let me that's, just that's find out from Mr. NBA what was going on, because something tells me there was something special going on for there to be 10 cars there. 
There's nowhere in the world you have that many people over on a regular basis. I'm popular overall. So my friends will always like to pass by. Uh, some that come out of town, pass by. Exactly. So that particular day uh, that she's talking about, I have a couple of friends that came around. So we, we, <laughs> exactly. we, we were having some good times, you know? But I didn't know that uh, she couldn't have access to get her car parked. So when she came back to the house, uh, she couldn't even say hi to my friends. She was showing an attitude. Uh, she snubbed everybody, and I was standing like a fool, or like... So you were embarrassed? I was embarrassed. If this was the first or second or third time, then, yeah, I would be considered a you-know-what. No, this is consistent. He's, you hear him say he's popular, right? Yes. This is a consistent thing. Like, he has people come over to the house all the time. But let me give you another example, right? So one particular evening, you know, I'm getting ready. I'm like, my girls are like, let's go out, such and such. Cool. You know, I start looking looking delicious. I'm about to walk out. Gideon comes out. He's like, hey, you know, I want to spend some time tonight. I want to take you out, blah, blah, blah. And he see me looking good. I'm like, uh, you know, thank you. I appreciate it, but we I already have something planned. Now, me, I guess, as a grown woman, I could have been like, babe, I'm going out da, 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 prior. But, I mean, I, it was just a spare of the moment. I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. I want to go spend time with my girlfriends. And that escalated to an argument. I can so, understand. Mr. NBA? Yes, Your Honor. I Go ahead and explain from your perspective. First of all, she didn't tell me that mm -hmm. she had a, mm -hmm. a program with her friends, right? She didn't mm -hmm. let me know that. So when I got home, she was already dressed. Mm -hmm. So I was surprised when she was telling me that she's going out with friends. Mm -hmm. So I mm -hmm. considered that as disrespectful, mm -hmm. and that's why I said, you're not going out. Did you give her an instruction you're not going out? Or did you say, I don't want you to go out, I would like to spend time with you? Because well, uh, you're, you're not going out is an order. She was already dressed, right? Which means that if I wasn't, or if I didn't come home at that particular time, she could have left, or yes. maybe just text me. So I was mad because when I got there, she was already dressed, and she said, I'm going out with my friends. So that's why I said, you're not going out. You heard that, right? You are not going out. What were you doing on the dating site? Yes, sir. It's his name to Bob and everything. What? B-O-B, -B, Bob. Oh. Now, does he look like a Bob, Your Honor? <laughs> Please answer that for me. No. Did you have your face named Bob on a dating profile? Yes or no, sir? Uh, and a hush yeah. fell over Jerusalem. <laughs> your Honor. <laughs>Mr. NBA, um, I'm, I'm just con confused about how you all interact with each other because now I've heard two scenarios where all of it could have been resolved with a courteous call or a text or something to the other one. That's just called courtesy in a relationship. There's nothing that I do um, that I feel like I'm ordered to do with my husband I just want to do it because he's my husband and I want to be courteous to him. Robert, you've been with Chris, what, 26 years, married for 22 years? That's right. Don't y'all still let each other know when you're going to do something? Absolutely. It's a courtesy. So I'm, I think this is a conversation that yes. you all have to have for real on how you communicate with, you, with each other. But he's communicating, Your Honor. He just communicates with other women. Oh, Lord. He's communicating. So, let's get to the, the, the situation, right? Yeah, because you He's... also accused him of cheating. Yes. Okay. So, he starts acting different. You know how men are, Your Honor. They, they try to play stuff off, but they can't. So, he starts acting a little different. And I'm a very observant person. And I know Gideon, like, the back of my hand. So, I start recognizing certain things. He'll get a text or so, turn his shoulder or so, mm. or I'm next to him. So, we were laying in bed one night. It was kind of late. And I, I see... Uh, messages. I see his phone kind of just blowing up. He's asleep. And I'm like, tonight is the night. And so I grabbed his phone. I went to the bathroom. And I go through and I, I see this, this site. I see this dating site. And I see messages. It's to a lot of women. And it's inappropriate. It's not like he's saying, come do this and do that and exchange phone numbers. But he is saying that he's single and ready to mingle. I wasn't on a dating site. Right. So, uh... 
first of all, she went into my phone. I understand that. We passed but... that. I done learned something about all of you in this new generation. Y'all go through each other's phones. So, Ms. NBA, you win on that argument. She shouldn't have been going through your phone. But guess what? <laughs> She went through your phone. She found out that you had a profile listed on what appeared to her to be a dating site. Now, you're a real smart man, so don't try to snow me. What were you doing on a dating site, listing yourself um, as single and ready to mingle? What was that about, sir? The profile on a dating site, that was an old profile, even before I met her, right? And secondly, the messages she saw were old messages. No, they weren't. If you can... No, they weren't. They were, they were old. Reasoning. When I started mingling with her, I wasn't... Mr. NBA, operating. if the phone is going ding, 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 those are new messages Thank coming you. in. Those are not no, old messages. Those, those were regular Thank messages. You. We, you know, just laying down, and then his phone starts going off. I hear this lady, and she has an African accent. But what is a woman at 3 o'clock in the morning calling my man for? Who were you talking to? Uh, my cousin. A lot of cousins. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. What were you doing on the dating site, sir? changed his name to Bob and everything. What? B-O-B, -B, Bob. Oh. Now, does he look like a Bob, Your Honor? Please <laughs> answer that for me. No. Or uh, to be honest, when you met me... Yeah. I said you saw me on the side you claimed you did. When I confronted you, you and I... Yeah, yeah. What, what, what did I say? What did you say? You don't ask Mr. me Mr. questions. Mr. Exactly. exactly. What, the, what, what did what, you say? You, you Wait, didn't, you didn't make me. that... It, Miss NBA, this is my courtroom. Mm. This is classic narcissistic behavior. Thank I you. asked you a direct question. Did you have your face named Bob on a dating profile? Yes or no, sir? Uh, and a hush fell your, over Jerusalem. Your Honor, <laughs> the issue, she, she didn't tell us the whole story, right? I told her I'm there because my cousin uh, suspected the girlfriend. And uh, now we were trying to see if she is actually using the dating site. Even if you want to check on the messages, you discover that those messages that you, you saw them Honor, were not more of relationship. I believe relationship. that he has a, a wife. I believe that he has a secret wife in, in Africa. You, I you believe that he, don't... he does have a secret wife. What makes you think doesn't... something like that? Because that's, right. a pretty, that's a pretty intense accusation. What makes you say that? It is. So, uh, a couple of times, I'm just gonna bring it back to one time. Late at night, Your Honor, late. I get Africa has different time zones than America. This is like 3 o'clock in the morning. We, you know, just laying down and then his phone starts going off. So he jumps up and he actually answers it. I'm like, dang, we, you know, we waking up at three o'clock to answer the phone. And I hear, I'm halfway asleep, I hear this lady and she has an African accent and he starts talking his language to her. They're not talking English, so I can't really understand what's going on. But what is a woman at three o'clock in the morning calling my man for? So I hear it, uh, she's like in a frantic type of voice. You know, I can't pick out what they're saying, they're talking their language. And so he he gets to, to fumbling around, looking for his credit card, looking for his wallet. I'm like, babe, what you doing? He's like, I gotta send some money. I'm like, well, who you, you know, who you sending this to? Ignores me, continues to talk on the phone. Ms. What makes you feel that they were sending money to a woman? I heard her. Y'all was talking on the phone. Does your mom live outside of the country? Does your sister live outside? They talk do. to me. Who? They, they all live out of the country. Who were you talking to? Uh, my cousin. A lot of cousins. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> it looks funny, but mm -hmm. I'm coming from, from a big family, right? Yes, like, sir. We, we support people, family, Absolutely. friends, classmates. So did you have so, an emergency that night? Is that what you're telling me? That there was an emergency um, back home and that you needed to take care of something? I would say kind of an emergency. And that's why I needed to send them money overnight. Do you have uh, a relationship outside of this relationship, outside of this country? Do, do, do you have a relationship? No, Your Honor, I don't. And, and if I ask this same question, to someone else, a particular individual, would she say differently? Is there anyone who thinks they're in a relationship with you? Nope, I don't think so, Your Honor. No, 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 not I don't think so, because I can guarantee if you ask me that question, you say, Judge Starr, 
Is there anyone other than your husband that thinks that they're in a relationship with you? I would say, heck no. He better not. He Absolutely better not. not. Right. So I'm just going to ask you that question. Right now, are you involved in any relationship, romantic, financial, marital, with anybody other than Miss Kennedy? No, nope, I'm not. Yes. So you just heard what your boyfriend said. Mm -hmm. Do you believe him? And another hush fell over Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. I want to. So you know what we where we are? We're at that 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 very clear point. Miss Kennedy, you say that uh, the defendant is a controlling cheater who blames his behavior on this is who he is and this is what his expectation is. You say you have lost trust in him and that in order for the relationship to work, he is going to need to make some major changes. Mr. Mbe, you say that the biggest issues between the two of you is that um, she does not respect you as a man, she's rude, and you love her, but you don't believe that you can move forward until she checks that independence. Yes, Your That's a real good conclusion of what we've been discussing. It's fair to say the two of you are not on the same page. Um, cultural differences can be very exciting because then you become a part of each other's culture. You learn everything about it. You learn about his family. He learns about yours. That's how you build a relationship. Y'all haven't told me anything like that. I hear accusations going back and forth. I hear no real connection on building something. Mm -hmm. It seems as if Mr. NBA wants someone a little more docile and you want somebody a little more open. Hmm. Open hmm. and honest. Yes, above all. So I'm, I'm just going to look at the two of you and I'm going to say, in order for this relationship to work, both of you would need to make some serious changes. And my heart of hearts says, like, the first thing I was impressed with is that you all met in school because you're both educated people. So you came to the relationship as whole human beings. And you seem to be successful in your career and you seem to be successful in your career. So I guarantee you the strategies that you employed professionally, you're not using them personally. Ooh. Ooh, I know that hurts. <laughs> because the things that you do at work and the things that you tolerate and don't tolerate, you'd never, you'd never tolerate some of the things that have been happening at work. And sir, you wouldn't be as demanding of a colleague and you wouldn't be rude and you wouldn't make decisions on what time you all are going to do your meetings without checking, does that work for your schedule? So the things that have made you all successful in your professional career, you need to decide whether or not you might want to use some of those same strategies in your personal life. And if you don't employ those same strategies, you're not going to be successful together because a relationship is a business partnership with love and trust as its foundation. I can't grow your love and trust for you. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, if you don't have it, it, it won't work. Mm. Mm. Yeah, listen, this relationship was built on a shaky foundation from the beginning. There's no trust and there's no respect. None at all. I mean, him having tons of friends over and not making just a simple text, even a text if he couldn't even call. I mean, but by the same token, if she's going out with her girlfriends, all she has to do is say, same thing. hey, I'm going to go out with my girls. Same thing. That, that mutual respect is really the foundation of a successful relationship. Absolutely. They didn't have any of it. No, it's not even that difficult. Nah, but it was too difficult for them, which really means they don't belong together. No. Nah.